Today I'm going to have a crack <coughs> at figuring out what's going on with this distributor. So I showed you on a previous video, and I'll insert it into the video here, I guess. If I rev this engine, see how the timing. is backfiring when you rev it so this has got a this is a um, Hall effect uh, distributor and uh, it's off a 1974 Chrysler motor 360 but uh, <clears throat> the motor's been fitted into a 1936 Buick for a long time so this distributor has been fine until recently I've just had a spate of issues one after the other but uh, in this case when you rev the motor the um, advance jumps right around and uh, well it advances and backfires the engine backfires and it's really undrivable so I put <coughs> a little pump Onto the vacuum advance the other day and that mechanism seems to do what it's supposed to so I'm going to put this onto my little mill I'll make up a little plate to um, sit that here and hook sit that there and hook the spindle up to the distributor so I can spin the distributor and watch it and there's a taco on this um, mill so there it is as I spin that it tells me what RPM I've got looks like 30 is a beginning so um, I can dial up whatever speed and given the distributor um, runs at half the speed of the uh, engine if I dial up 1500 rpm it'll be like the engine's driving at 3000 and I can take it through and I can watch the distributor mechanically and see how it behaves so I'm just going to make up a little mechanism to uh, mount that distributor onto the, the um, table and uh, I'll give it a test so I have this bit of wood with a hole cut through the bottom with a hole saw and uh, just drill the hole through here for the clamp and that is now ooh, sitting up a little bit on the side yeah. I might have a look at that and see why that's sitting like that um, but the principle should be good so I will straighten that up and uh, then look at hooking up the uh, spindle of the mill to the spindle of the distributor. So here's moving the um, vacuum advance. That's all it does. That's its movement. So, <clears throat> nothing underwater yet, but still, I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy with this. Oh, I'll just move that out of the way. Not happy with that. I 
I don't know why that would be as loose as that. I don't know if that's right. Alright, so now hook up the uh, spindle and we'll see where we go. So I've made up this little piece, an old bolt. Just drill the hole into the uh, end of it. I'll turn this bit down in the lathe, just get it the right size. And then got an Allen, oh, Allen screw drilled and tapped into it to make a key. So now this will sit in like that, like that, and drive that. So I put this up into the spindle. I can get it up high enough and then I can just drop it down when it's in the right place. So I'll get that ready. So we now have it all hooked up as I spin that. So that all seems alright. So if I put this down here and turn this on. We have the distributor spinning and that'll be like 2000 RPM. That would be 3000 RPM now. And if I pump on this, There is no nastiness. Get around here where we're not interfered by the So first test uh, that covers it in the road but I can't run it without it down. First test it looks okay. So we'll have to um, just do more work and figure it out. So I finally think I'm on top of this. I um, borrowed this little digital scope and this is the output of two channels. So they're both on 5 volt scale. So channel 1 is yellow, and that's being triggered by this Hall Effect sensor here, which is triggered by a magnet on that chart. This is for quite a wide pulse width. This is a reasonable size magnet, but so it's triggering. And uh, then there is the second channel is the output from this electronic ignition module and so we can see that they're both reading similar there's five volts per division on channel one so you can see it's about 14 volts five volts per division on channel two and it's peak to peak is peak to peak is that similar voltage. So if we're going to a snapshot and uh, I run a snapshot on channel two and see that the peak to peak voltage is eleven point eight volts, seven point six amplitude maximum voltage 7.8 minimum minus 4 volts but, um, this is now running we can see from here to here is one rotation of the main shaft and if we count from here 1, 2, 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the eight cylinders. 
if I get the um, vacuum and put vacuum on it you can see that moving so if I just zoom in onto one of these units I'll find the uh, trigger point on the uh, channel one wow got to be in here somewhere there it is so there's a trigger now if I move I pump on so here's the gauge if I put vacuum on it we see the signal the uh, trigger moving and now it's coming off so there's the vacuum advance operating very clearly and now I'm running at it that would be close enough to 4400 rpm so now watching this as I reduce the rev come down here and we scale out we have this would be effectively 1500 rpm and we have the same we have the same amplitudes same shape So this distributor seems to me to be um, doing its job exactly as it should. So and now if you can see you can see that's pulsing. So if I drop these revs down to say 400. That gives us an idle speed around the 800 RPM. It's probably a little low, but it's around that, something like that. Here is, I'll scale in, and here it looks the same. So, regardless of, and you can see that light blinking more obviously now. Regardless of what revs I'm doing, it all is behaving itself just as it should. So, I don't think that this is the source of the problem of the backfire. I think it must be induction or something. Well, here's the final piece of the puzzle. I can now fully understand what's going on. So, we have here... I've pulled the distributor apart now and here is the mechanical advance this is not a single shaft there's these spring loaded units and that actually is not a single shaft going all the way through so I will put this into the Vice, so it doesn't all fall apart. Okay, so here it is. So that is the mechanical advance. So if I truly want to get all of the story of this unit, I need to put the magnet down on here somewhere so we can see the mechanical advance as well but there it is all that said and I might even do that 
All that said, there's nothing here that is suggesting that the distributor is a problem with that timing. So I'm looking more and more to um, the idea of some sort of electrical induction causing uh, a false fire on the trigger of that uh, electronic ignition.